Hi everyone, my name is Arvin Olano and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, nobody, nobody asked, asked, but in today's video, we are looking at spring 2021 trends and would you buy this? Would you? I don't know, let's take a look. You guys, if you don't know my friend, Hannah. Hi guys. She has her own channel. She has the most amazing luxury pieces. So if you're into RH, you love luxury items. Okay. God bless you. <laughs> I wanted to ask Hannah, about some trendy spring 2021 home decor and items and would she buy it or would you buy it? And I want you to sound off in the comments down below every time we talk about these items. So he picked five and I picked five. So the first item. Hannah, would you buy this flutter sofa from CB2? Okay, was this a joke? <laughs> Awful. Oh dear God. It's $2,000. You guys, the big trend for the year is Grand Millennial, Grandma Chic, and obviously we're gonna see that in the stores. This just reminds me of like all the bad designs that we tried to leave behind in a certain era. And I think it's cool if it's your style. It's okay. I think if, if done right, it'll be cool. But for $2,000, no. um, Sorry, so no. I, no. Okay. No, absolutely no. not. No. Absolutely not. Okay. All right, so my item for Arvin. Is a wicker and faux love seat. Mm. Would you buy this? So the it's from the Studio McGee it's, yep. collection for Target. We're seeing a lot of wicker mm -hmm. for 2021. Which by the way, we just read her collection of filth on her channel. <laughs> So make sure you watch it after this. Um, I actually love a good wicker moment. I think I think it's cool. I think the design is really nice. If you're looking for an outdoor like patio furniture, I think for 380 you can find something that's like a little bit more stylized or a little more special. Because to me, I feel like it's just a little basic. I feel like it's too much for that item. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I think so. I so think no. No. Okay. No, it, it's not special enough. I think it needs to be like. Give, give me more, okay. right? Like, give me, give me more. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, best. we're a mess. Okay, okay, next item. Um, would you buy this Teddy armchair from Pottery Barn? Absolutely. I think, I know. Did really? I it's adorable. I am shocked. It, no? No, I think it, I actually absolutely. I think as an accent chair, I would not do a whole set in, in the Teddy in or Brooklyn, in this, yep. yeah, in this style, but yes, I think it's adorable. I think it could add some character, some dimension to any room. I'm shocked because I feel like it is a different style from your style. Um, it has this like traditional wing back but shape. But it doesn't mean you can't make it work though, Arvin. That is true. That is true. I think accent chairs, you can have fun. It, it reminds me- in a bed in a baby room, too. <gasps> mm -hmm. It reminds me of a chair that um, Amber and Tears has, or Amber okay. Lewis has in her home. Hers is made of like a vintage Sherpa. Um, but I feel like this is one of those things yep. that are timeless, yep. and you can invest a little bit, but yep. you're going to have it for years. That's adorable. Right? It's the Teddy fabric. Yeah. Teddy fabric. Super cute. Chic. Yes. yes to that one. Yes. Yes for me too. <laughs> okay. That's a good one. right here. Yeah, I love that. 2021, I've been seeing a lot of navy. As a color. Mm -hmm. I, I, I put a pillow in here, but are you into the navy decor for 2021? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a Would bad. you buy it? I, I wouldn't buy it because I don't do a lot of navy for my home. Um, I always look to like my fashion as my inspiration for my color palette. And although I have I like to say, as you're I have navy right now. I have some navy on this jacket, but not for good. the most part, navy does not look good on me. So I feel like navy as a color in my home wouldn't look good as well. I think in other styles it could look good, like if you have coastal, okay. um, you know, and you like this color, I think it's a great kind of neutral color to have. Can you can you mix navy into different styles without it screaming 
coastal. But if you do navy with like deep green olive colors mm. or, you know, tans and browns, I think it, it could look like mid-century, it could look traditional. Love that. Yeah, I think navy's a great color, just not for me, so this one's a no. Okay. It's a no. The next item is this IKEA Vadheim. Vadheim bed. It's awful. <laughs> it's awful. It's an inhaler moment. <laughs> I, mm. You guys, and if you have this bed, if you have any of these items, no hate to you guys. This bed is awful. No. Okay. It looks cheap to me for $550. No. I feel like that that's a little high for IKEA. Yeah, for sure. What's I did I chose it? the king bed. This is one of their new items and no. I think it just looks a little like juvenile. I was it looks, about to say very youthful. It, it looks, looks like very youthful, and um, I think it's going to be like a very specific style for this for this bed. It's like a dorm room bed. It is kind of like a dorm room bed. <laughs> oh, you know, um, which isn't bad. Obviously, like you know, we talked about being in different stages in your life, for sure. but for no, five fifty, you, you can do better. No, hard no for we're not price. buying it. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. My item is this article, Kara. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Mm -hmm. Curvy sofa. I've been seeing a lot of curves and 90 influence mm -hmm. for home decor. So this is priced at $1,300. Would you buy that? I actually love curved furniture, but I wouldn't spend $1,300 on this because I've actually heard a lot of like bad reviews of article really? sofas. Yeah, I, I, feel like, I feel like people think that they're uncomfortable and it's just for like the look. Well, I would definitely say this is for the look. This yeah. would be in like a fancy room. Right, maybe like a um, like a more formal totally. room or like an office. Yeah. The design is just... Not there. It's not there. You can actually find a vintage one for way less that is the exact same shade. And you're getting something authentic and not, you know... Crap. So, n no. No. For both of us. Uh, no. No, no. Oh my god, my next one is so good. <laughs> okay, so this next item... is this glam chandelier from Lamps Plus. It's $1,300. No. Almost 14. Are you? Oh no, this better be made of Swarovski crystals, honey. No, it's just tacky. It's no. just tacky. It's just a little too much. No. And I think the, the wire. It's very gaudy. The way it hangs too. I don't know why I was doing that. <laughs> the way it hangs from the ceiling. <laughs> why are you squeezing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't no. know. Mm. No. There's nothing to, there's nothing to... It's literally just no. two circles suspended by wire for $1,400 and... There's a better way to go about it. Yeah, and you put like some Michael's beads on it. <laughs> <laughs> some dingleberries? <laughs> some crystal dingleberries for Michael's. Oh God, no. No, absolutely not. No. If you said yes, I would have, I would have walked away. Hard no. Goodbye. <laughs> Hard no. <laughs> Next item for you, Mr. Arvin Alwano. Mm hmm Artificial olive tree, the one from Crate and Barrel, $3.99. Mm. $3.99? Girl, okay, hold on. Let me look at this olive tree. Oh boy. Um, I mean, I think it looks beautiful, and I have like nothing against faux plants. I have some faux plants. That's kind of a lot though. Do you know how much my RH ones are? Yes, I know how much they are, and I think you're That's crazy. That's affordable. That's bet for a good qual for. Okay, I feel like a fake tree that looks really fake and cheap in a room. If Fair. If you want, if you want greenery, if you want this. Fair. You don't think investing some good money into a tree that looks realistic. Okay. Fair. For me, my tree adds so much dimension and mm -hmm. color and... No? I thought you had been all about this. Let me know in the comments, would you buy a $400 faux tree? Or would you rather just buy a real one? I think, I think faux plants are great if you don't have a green thumb. Um, or if you don't have any light in your space. And if you have the budget, I think, I think it's cool. Don't feel like you need to buy no. a $400 tree if you don't have the budget. 
this last one for you is a little bit controversial because not only is it a trend, and it is marble contact paper. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's hard because I know people can't... Calcutta, marble, it's a very luxurious stone. I understand there it comes is. a price with that. And I know a lot of people want the look for less. Mm -hmm. But I just, I can't get on board with this. Say, I say save your money and then invest when the time is right for marble, actual, authentic, real marble pieces. And you've gotten a lot of cool stuff at like antique stores. And people have got stuff off of Facebook Marketplace mm -hmm. where it's real good quality marble, but no. Absolutely. Okay, one last question. Is this your last one? This is my last one. Okay. And this item is from Lulu in Georgia. Oh. Mm. So mm -hmm. vintage inspired art pieces are very popular for 2021. Would you buy? It absolutely is. Um, this is priced at $214. Artwork. Vintage art. <laughs> Vintage artwork. 214? Girl. Okay, I love vintage art, vintage inspired art. I think it looks awesome. But I think for $214, that's a little much. Um, if you want to get this look, you can go to your local antique mall, your thrift store, okay. and find something that's similar. That's n Someone out there is having fun. Maybe you should join them afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think if you want to get this look, it doesn't have to cost two hundred fourteen yeah, dollars. There's something about like vintage art where it's like, you know, now it's like everything is abstract and yeah. like very simple. Something about this like makes you think like, oh, I wonder where that was, or like, you know, who who made this, who drew this, and I think that's what I love about home decor or like art it holds power and it holds, you know, it evokes emotion. And when you get those special pieces, it really makes you think like, oh, that's really cool. Where'd you get that? It's got a story. It does have a story. So out of, we had 10 items. I think we said no to but most of them. I was about to say, I think there was only like two or three items out mm -hmm. of 10 that we said yes to. Which is okay. I mean, you don't have to like something just because I like it or vice versa. Or because it's a trend. Or because it's a trend. Remember, trends are just there to like, it's like a guideline. You don't have to follow them. But if it is part of your style, then, you know, be my guest. Go for it. But remember, don't buy too many trends because you might just be wasting a lot of money. Yep. Um, but all right, everyone. That was it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you head on over to Hannah's channel. We did a super fun video um, over there. We spilled, we spilled a lot of tea. It got, it got juicy. Heated. It got heated. Um, so I will link that down below. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. Oh, I like that. <laughs> that was good. Oh, my God. That was.